This video is going to show you how to determine the location of an autophoto map, title or index. Let's start with this diagram. This diagram shows you the coverage of topographical maps of the whole of South Africa. So each of these small little blocks represents a topo ma topographical map sheet. So we are interested in the 2829. AC3 Harry Smith map. Um, so let's zoom in. So if you can see here, 2829, and you can see this whole area here, 2829. So 28 means this is the 28 line of latitude, and the 29, remember the second number is the line of longitude. So there it is. So this maps here, there are 16 in total. They will all start with a title 28 to 29. Now remember, I've shown you previously that this will be big block A, big block C, B, sorry, C and D. And then each of this, this will be small A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So 2829 and the Harry Smith title is 2829 AC. So if we look here, 2829 AC. So this would be the topographical map. But let me now show you some more detail of what Autophoto map. Look at where it starts. Let's look at latitude. Latitude, you can see, is 28 degrees 15 minutes, and longitude is 29 degrees 6 minutes. This will be east, and this will be south. So this autophoto map starts at 28 degrees 6 minutes, and... It ends at 29 degrees, 9 minutes. So you can see this whole area is 3 minutes. So if we look at the latitude, it starts at 28 degrees, 15 minutes. And it ends at 28 degrees, 18 minutes. So an autophoto map only covers three minutes by three minutes. So you can see this autophoto covers only an area of three minutes by three minutes. A topographical map, on the other hand, covers an area of 15 minutes. Now let's show you. My uh, drawing is always not very professional, so I've prepared some already drawn diagrams for you. So let's have a look. So again, we need to determine the 2829AC3 Harry Smith autophoto. Now except for the three, everything works exactly the same as for a topographical map index. So 28 is your line of latitude, so you will draw it plus the following one, 29. This 29 is your line of longitude. You start at 29 and end at 30. You divide it into four big blocks, block big A, B, C, D, and in each of these four blocks, you further sub subdivide into A, B, C, D, X. So 28, 29, A, C, 28, 29, A, C. So it means that topographical map is somewhere, is this whole sheet. And you can see it covers an area of 15 minutes by 15 minutes. But I've showed you an autophoto map only covers an extent of 3 by 3 minutes. Now if you take 15 and you divide it by 3, you get 5. It means you have to divide 5 and by 5. So Five blocks like that and five blocks like that. Now what's important again, similar to the 
uh, order of the ABCs is the number. So this will be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see the numbering clearly. So the 2829 AC3 Harry Smith autophoto, 2829 AC, and can you see there? That's the location of the autophoto. Now, often you are asked questions like, or you need to determine what are the autophoto map index north, south, east, and west of this one. And um, I've prepared uh, another one. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. And this is the location of the 28. 29 AC3 Harry Smith autophoto. Now, if you ask what is the index, etc., and you will end here with 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. If you ask what is the index of the autophoto north of this autophoto and you can see that will be that autophoto with the number 23 so it will still be 2829 but it's not ac anymore it's aa23 so the autophoto north of this map will be 2829 AA and then the number 23. Northeast, you will see be, will be AA, 28, 29, AA, 24. The map, the autophoto map south of this one will be this number 8. 28, 29, AC, 8. And this is how you continue doing it. Now, say for example, you've got an autophoto that is at an edge. Let's look at this number 11. How are you going to determine what is the map, autophoto map west of it? So I'm just going to zoom out so that you can see. I would strongly advise that you continue drawing the diagram. So I'm just going to extend this diagram like here. This stays the 29 degrees south and this stays the 28 degrees south line. But my line of longitude is going to decrease. If that's 28, this will be 20, uh, 29, this will be 28 degrees east. And again, I divide it into four big blocks, block A, B, C, D, and I'm only going to subdivide block B, A, B, C, D. So I now know if you're asked what is the autophoto index west of this one, you now know you have to go and subdivide this into five. And then you can number it one, two, three. I'm just going to say five, six, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. So zoom in so that you can see better. So you can one, two, three, four, five, etc. I've just written down five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. So what will be the autophoto index of the map west of this number 11? Now look what you're going to do. You're not working with 28, 29 anymore. 
we are working with 2828. 28. So the answer for the map west of it will be 28, 28. Big block B, big block B, and small block D. And what's that number? 15. I'm going to repeat this by giving you another example. If you want to know what is the autophoto index of the map southwest, so southwest will be that one. You extend the diagram, you divide it, but now it's 28, 28, B, D, and that number is 20.